Hello everyone and welcome to stream. Welcome, welcome. I do hope you guys have been having a wonderful day so far and a wonderful start of the week. <laughs> uh, and hello gaming. Hello Jono. Hope you have a fun, amazing rest of the day and thank you for stopping by. And hello Ark. Hello or Areku. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a cat glaring at me. Apparently I'm not allowed to cla clap my hands. <laughs> Ah, Lamina, welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Mm. Uh, I feel like super tired. I I got such a headache when I got home, so I just kind of had to lay down and rest for a while. It turned out way better when I had some food. But, yep. <laughs> I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I'm probably very dehydrated. Probably have been for a few days. So no tea for me today, only water, which is kind of boring, but it's healthy, so... Sometimes healthy has to be good enough. Hey, <laughs> it's water! Water, water. So, you know, do, do as I say, not as I do, but right now I am drinking water, so do as I do. Normally, don't do as I do. Listen to me when I tell you what not to do, because I know from experience that it's not a good decision to do. You know? I have a very cute cat. <laughs> she's amazingly cute as long as she doesn't lay on my keyboard. She's not at the moment. She's lay laying next to my keyboard. Then she's only cute. <laughs> Hello, Harold. Welcome to stream. Welcome. So glad to see you. Hope you guys, you have been having a good day. Uh, my day has been uh, very good since I came back home from work. Yes, because cute cat. So yeah. <laughs> you learned today that in some parts of India people fry, fry in water instead of oil? Isn't that just boiling? What on earth is the difference between water frying and water boiling? Okay, that that was confusing to me. They are not boiling. Um Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> Since frying is basically just plopping things into extremely hot oil, frying things in water, according to me, seems to be popping stuff into extremely hot water. Or is it just, you know, frying with a frying pan, but instead of oil in the frying pan, you have a teensy tiny amount of water? Because that sounds less weird, because that's... We, I've done some similar things. That's how you prepare mushrooms. <laughs> uh, like chanterelles and stuff like that. That's normally how I prepare those. Okay, not using frying pan. Then I'm extremely confused. I'm gonna have to check up on what that, what on earth that is. Hello, Mogul. And hello, Mr. Dark. Hello, Takano. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful day so far. Uh, can't stay for long, but you'll have a great stream and an even better day and or evening. Yeah, you too, Mr. Dark. You too, Mr. Dark. Mm. Uh, did Harry they use sand before? Yeah, I think I've heard about some uh, is using sand, which makes sense because sand can be incredibly hot. It's actually deep, right? I mean, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to Google. Because this is so confusing. Deep fry with water. Eh. Even though water and oil don't mix together, you don't say. Oh, is it that you fry water? Water droplets? 
because that somehow makes more sense. Kitty, your head is in the way. I can't read. With no cool kids are making TikToks. Yeah, cool kids are always making TikToks. Uh, the deep fried water is just a fancy word for boiled water at the very least an easy dish, dish to scoop out. Uh, oh yeah, the owl gelatin like substance you can sort of make a water droplets cake thingamabob and then you deep fry that. Is that how it is? Because that makes kind of sense. Uh, it's actually put in some kind of curry. Okay. Let me find what you find. Yeah, you, you tell me because I'm confused. <laughs> but if it's the uh, basically water droplet cake that was extremely popular on uh, TikTok and YouTube Shorts a while ago, um, and then you deep fry that, that 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 makes sense to me because that is still using oil to fry and you have something that can the oil can get into no, not, uh, it's not a cake it's uh, basically a water droplet it looks like a water drop <laughs> but I think they call them water drop cake even though they aren't definitely aren't cake basically doesn't taste like anything either if I remember correctly I haven't tasted them, but I've heard what people tasting them think. The cat persistent to be on your table is very cute. She's very cute and she's very persistent to be in uh, my general area, which is also extremely cute. So, yes. <laughs> I accidentally touched her foot. So. You're gonna send me a short? Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna check it later. <laughs> Uh, hello, is it Blacklicht or I don't know, but hello, welcome. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. And uh, it's in Hindi, not English. As long as I can see what's going on, I'm fine. <laughs> I probably love that. Fine enough, fine enough. <clears throat> But this is the game that we're gonna play today. Notice, notice I have a speck of dust on my screen. Um, so this is Traveler's Rest, which is basically we own an inn. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's basically Stardew Valley, but instead of only having a farm we're actually having a farm and an inn because i can farm as well i can also buy all of my groceries but farming <laughs> and uh, i got slightly hooked on this during the weekend i tried it out on saturday i think yeah it was saturday uh, I, I started playing at like 11, all of a sudden it was 3am, and then I played a lot on Sunday as well, and then no, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna start off with a new character, cause, you know, reasons, and we are a, a woman, is that, yeah, that's how you turn it. Uh, kind of don't like that hair, so we're gonna change that out. Eh, yeah, is it fine? That's green. That's blue. The, I mean, they are purple, but I normally go with blue when I only can- when I can only choose one. Because... Blue eyes is kind of my starting thing. Uh, the purple one I got later in life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think nose number two is my favorite. I don't know about the mouth. 
Do I want a cheeky little smile or do we just go with... Because hmm. I don't know. Ah! We can have braids! Do we want braids? We don't want that. This is what I went with the other time, just a ponytail. Can we also please have blonde? Thank you very much. This is the skin color, by the way. That's pale, but it's also not yellow. <laughs> is it a new one? I think I've streamed it. We've streamed it before, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I haven't streamed this one. So it's a new one for me. And uh, we have played a similar one, I think, uh, but it was um, potion uh, something or other. Uh, but it was similar style-wise, I guess. But this is a new little indie game. Both of them are indie games, so, you know. And it's still in... Um, I was about to say alpha, but it's in early access. Not that. We're not doing Pippi Longstockings today. Oh, I can have a hat. <laughs> I feel like I had no idea about the all of this. And that's the boring one again. Is that just... A, it's a just... Lilla Mi. You know, Moomin, darling. I think we just go with this. It's good enough. <laughs> this is pretty similar. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Really loving the good pixel style game. Yeah. And it's also super easy on the computer. Like, super easy on the computer. So, you know, a whole lot of awesome things. This is a weird shirt. I, I'm not gonna have that shirt. I don't want to look filthy. I feel like a good uh, bar owner should probably have a clean shirt. Do we want to go full on pur purple? I think we got to go, want to go full on pur purple. Let's go with brown. I kind of have a brown belt. <laughs> now the big question is though, do we want to go with trousers or skirt? I'm kind of feeling trousers at the moment. Oh, Stardew but different? It's definitely Stardew but different. It's Stardew but we have an inn. So it's kind of like we can still farm and do the whole farmy farmy business. But it kind of feels like we're doing it to make more alcoholic beverages. So by the way, you know, discretion. <laughs> Covered skirts are always dope. Yes, probably. Probably. Oh, like an adventurer's in? Yeah, it's definitely an adventurer's in. Like, some of the people who come in there, into the inn, are basically saying like, Oh, I'm not sure if I'm cut out to be an adventurer. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely an adventurer's in. Um, with all of what that intakes and stuff like that. You guys feeling the battle skirt? But the battle pants? Eh, fine. We can go with the skirt. I rarely go with the skirt. It appears that we cannot be matchy matchy with the... with the shirt. Oh, we can be matchy matchy with the skirt. It's just the ap apron that can't be matchy matchy with the shirt. There we go. Oh, 
never know. There's a difference. Oh, so these I have socks, and these I do not have socks. Let's go without the socks. Let's have black boots because reasons. Um. I think we're gonna, instead of go with Traveler's Rest, do we want to go just... Knight's Rest? He's dead. <laughs> An official chatbot? No, we don't... What? I do not have a chatbot. Let's go with that, if I need enough. Good enough. Is this a name for the in- Yeah, it is. Would you want the tutorial? Yes, yeah, sure. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support this indie project. I should probably give it like 0 out of 5 stars because this is so addicting. <laughs> oh, thank you, press space to continue. Yes. The worst do to move is left shift to run. Decoration mode is these uh, yes. <gasps> and B to just decorate decorate. Um yeah. So this is basically our table. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about the whole customers don't like darkness for some reason. They might be adventurers, but they are pretty scared. Welcome to the Nightly Kingdom. Yes. Give it a five out of five and leave a simple boring joke. No boring jokes here. Um. Okay, so this is basically our little thing we can put the beverages in. These can only do alcoholic beverages. This little beauty can hold everything. It's awesome. Uh, storing food here will add it to your bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. And then we press O to open up. So this is it. We are opened. Can I go out? What happens if I try? I still have unfinished tasks to do. I cannot leave. So we basically just stand behind the counter and we just feed people. You know. And we only have gruel because... Yes. A bartender? No, no, no. I'm an innkeeper. There might be alcoholic beverages involved. So, you know. Yes. Uh, close up the tab. I can't place them even. Th I, <laughs> I already like the deco not being gridlocked. Yeah. And so when we close, we basically have to wait until people eat their fill so that they, you know, I can't, I can toss them out if I want to, but it's probably not the best. And then I got reputation. It's not experience points, it's reputation. Hmm. And now we can set up a new 
little, little thing. Nice to put in front of the fireplace. But I would like this to be that way. Like so. I don't want to open because this little table doesn't have a candle. Now we can open though. Because I need to serve eight bowls of coal. <laughs> recommended for a man child? Yes. Girl, recommended for a lot of people. You guys haven't seen the best part yet. Because, you know, sometimes customers get roadie. Because it's a tiny inn that only serves grow, grow, gruel. And, you know, the, the alcoholic beverages and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, so it's table has become dirty. So basically what we need to do is every now and then we need to go and clean the tables. Otherwise people are gonna be upset because they don't want to eat in um, filth. Yeah, and we can serve porridge and water. Upgrades, people. We can we have drinks. And porridge. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now we go here. And then we just right click to... This is something that I learned after a while. We right click to add everything. Left click is only add one. Right click is add everything. And this is basically what we can sell it for. We sell it from 1 and 13. Uh, customers can also order drinks. Drinks to be served in the tavern are stored in drink dispensers. The taps, the little bronze and black things, uh, can only be filled with carbonated drinks like beer, while the kegs can be filled with any drink. If you don't have any beverages available, customers will just ask you for water. In order to serve it, the water must be stored in one of your drink dispensers. Approach the keg, press Q and fill it up with a bucket of water. What I kind of like is that I get my bucket back. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be given my uh, bucket back. Change it to blue. Because water is blue. Nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm very overly proud of this game. A customer has not asked for a glass of water yet. But yeah, okay, now they have. So basically, sometimes people also just scream from their table what they want. Uh, so then we just have to go and pour. And now it's added to my tray. We'll be able to see the drinks on my tray above the action bar. You can return the drinks from your tray to their dispenser by holding down the R key or by clicking on the icon to the right of the drinks on your tray. You can see the beverage table on the right side of the bar. When a customer orders from their table, an indicator appears and blah, blah, blah. As well as seeing current orders, you can also drop off and pick up drinks at the beverage table. I can do that! Which will be very useful when there are multiple people working at the tavern. Oh! I can... How on earth do I... I don't know how to place the, the glass of water there. You will have to wait, my lady. I needed to clean the, clean the stuff first. Everybody wants my water. It's so amazing water. Everybody wants it. Yes, I know I have the best water. I just uh, also need to clean. <laughs> Is the cat playing with the settings again? No, she's not. She's not. She's uh, very kindly laying on her little uh, little fluffy fluffy blanket. So it's just me. Finally, delicious water. 
Ya es bocha. I now have a copper axe. I can close the tavern to go outside to shop trees in order to advance your quests and gain new technologies. Nice. I just need uh, to water us. Let me just close it. And there we go. And we clean the table. And we hurry over here to clean the table. Yeah, now we basically just wait for them to leave. <laughs> Do you have water on sale for two ninety nine? Yes. People are being filthy. Also, don't know where they got the tank yard from because they got their water in uh, glass glasses. We have a quiet check for the lumberjack. Yes, we have. Uh, I am unsure where I, where I want stuff. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna clear this area out a bit because now I know what's coming. So, um, you know. I kind of know that we need to clear out a big space. <laughs> Is that Stardew? It's not Stardew. It's a game that's kind of similar to Stardew, but uh, it's not. Similar at least in some ways. Uh, the art style is a bit different, but it's still also similar in a weird way. Oh, I got the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Yes. So that is basically one of the things that I was waiting for that we kind of have to place down. Um, so let's just clear out a bunch of the grass. I mean, it's kind of similar to Stardew Valley in this sense that I have to clear out the land. I have to prepare working areas. I can even buy chicken, sis. So, you know. I just like how the trees just realistically fall where in Minecraft and Ohio. They just float. They float in Ohio. Sounds like I have missed something. Okay, I need to clear out a bit more. Uh, so, let's see. I wonder if that will destroy the rock. It probably will. Um, so I would probably like for this one to be there, which is doable. We just need to clean out here. But do I want? Uh, I think I think I want the smelter over there. So let's put the sawmill over here. It's fine. It's fine. Perfectly fine. There we go. 20 wooden planks. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel and time. Yeah, so basically every, almost every station kind of needs fuel. This little thing doesn't. 
So we just did a bunch of planks. And now we'll go back inside. Hello, John. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. This game was made of Unity. Maybe it was. I have no idea. I didn't check that. I know Unity had some difficulties. I do not remember which, though. Um. Blah, 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 blah. I would like to, for people to come so that I can serve them porridge because apparently I didn't do that enough. Are you hungry? You hungry. Good. Awesome. There we go. Oh, yeah. Why do people need to drip their stuff on my... I thank you. Okay, now we can close. I only needed to serve the people. Yes. I only had a quest that I needed to do. You guys are adventurers. You uh, understand? <laughs> I am getting good reputation. What's that flower? I got a flower down in the corner. I don't quite know. So now we collect. Thank you. I can use the pick to mine loads. Loads? And get metals and minerals. Remember that decoration mode must be disabled to mine. Yes. Okay, so four metal loads. I probably shouldn't... We can grab the biggest one. It's fine. Because these are copper. Copper is not going to be that useful for us. Iron is where it's at. I will come to learn. <laughs> I know you're Swedish, but you have a half Scottish accent. Sounds part Scottish part Welsh. <laughs> I haven't been to Wales, so I don't know where that's coming from. I have been to Scotland, though. Um, so yeah, and uh, I went to Scotland when I was kind of young. So when I went back home, I spoke Scottish. So I can understand you hearing that. I got the, I got the lunch, lunch stuff. I have obtained the smelter and the anvil. When you build the smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. This area cannot overlap any other working area. Some objects can only be placed in a certain working area. The anvil can only be placed in the metal work area. Awesome, I still need some iron. And by some, I mean a lot. Oh, there is iron. I was about to say that I have forgotten where the iron is. <laughs> How many languages are am I fluent in? I'm only fluent in English and Swedish. I have studied other languages, but I'm not fluent in them. Would be really, really cool if I was, but uh, sadly I'm not. I have also studied Spanish. For a while, I've studied uh, mainly Spanish, Latin for a long while, but Latin is not a language that you kind of can be fluent in, because, you know, no one is. Would be extremely cool. Would be extremely cool to be fluent in Latin. But yeah. What's our homework play of this game? Wait. Yeah. Yes, of course, this is our homework to play this game. This game is amazing. Everyone should play. <laughs> uh, but yeah. 
Okay, so... No, we cannot do that because we need to chop it to chop the tree down first because this tree is in the way. Latin and old languages. Uh, I'm looking... You're fluent in one? Are you fluent in one of the dead languages or one of the old languages? Why? Okay, I could. <laughs> it kind of looked like I couldn't place it, so I, I got a bit upset there for a bit. Uh, so this can't be placed inside of the woodworking, it can't be placed outside, it needs to be in the metal shop area thing. Alright, fine. Uh, ten iron nails. Well, we need to fuel the thing. Let's just craft all of the iron. Is it fine? We need a lot of iron. Uh, kind of both. It's not used a lot, so it's kind of dead. I see. I see. School question. Have I ever scolded a student for asking to go to the toilet? And can I speak Swedish for you? I haven't scolded them for using the toilet because everyone needs to use the toilet sometimes. I have sometimes scolded them for accidentally needing to go to the toilet at the same time as their friends. Which, you know, I, I'm not stupid. I very much know that if you are going to the toilet in on Mars, you are not really going to the toilet. You're gonna sit in a corner and talk. But not really scolding them for only asking to go to the toilet. Not, not that. And what on earth would you like me to say in Swedish? <laughs> because you know I. I am very fluent in it, I am perfectly able to speak it, but also just speaking randomly is kind of confusing, so... You know, I am very well stuck on my uh, English speaking moment. Don't go to the toilet with friends for, go uh, for going to the toilet, no? And I've also had a couple of students who was going to the toilet and... Um, they said they were going to the toilet, and then all of a sudden, it turns out that they are at the couches. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to go to the toilet on a wooden bench. So you know. <laughs> Maybe a prayer? Ah, oh, well. Sweden has a bit of a odd relationship with religion compared to a lot of other countries so not that not that is this the i think that's another area so i'm gonna have to clear out clear out this first because i was thinking of just having the work area centered around you know here because last time i had them basically around the inn which was it was fine it was just a lot of running back and forth all of the time especially when i wanted to craft something at my workbench that needed logs and then all of a sudden I needed nails and then I had to run over to the other side of the inn you know and you know when it tongue twisters in Swedish yes I know that <laughs> uh, you know when I was a class kid would go to the toilet with friends and squat up and play PUBG oh no I don't know Uh, but sju sjuka sjömän på det sjunkande skeppet Shanghai sköttes av sju sedan sju sköterskor. I, I don't remember the whole thing. But yeah, 
Basically, sju sjösjuka sjömän på det sjunkande skeppet Shanghai. <laughs> Which is seven seasick sailors on the sinking ship Shanghai. Yes. It's getting late. Call last orders to give your customers a chance to finish their drinks before closing up. Yes. Craft a table using the workbench. Can I even craft a table? I cannot. I need sticks. I need sticks. So go craft sticks. I think that's it. Yep. It's only sticks that I need. Steven Bones, welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. And welcome to my little inn. Is a uh, is over here. <laughs> it's too late to open. What do you mean I can't open past midnight? Maybe I want to open past midnight. Trying to stop me, silly, silly thing. <laughs> Harumph. Uh, how is my internet not affected by the Russia? Because internet is not connected to Russia. Did you know? <laughs> uh, like Sweden has their own internet servers. Uh, I am very much unaffected on that particular bit by Russia and the situation over there. There's a lot of other things that's affecting Sweden and uh, particularly the economics. By yeah. yeah, a small table. Now we can unlock the crafting room when I'm ready. Close up and head to the northern side of the tavern. It's getting pretty late though. <laughs> And I don't even know if we have enough um, if we have enough uh, lot of things. I'm about to I just need to place the table. I can't place under the table. I can't place under the table. I'm gonna place it there. But yeah, I need to go sleep because sleep is apparently important and in this particular instance is yes, we need to sleep. I'm gonna not make my bed today. So let's see, I'm gonna save. So basically they also promote or ask that you um it's a seller. Forty silver, I have twenty-six. So that's not gonna work. Consider stocking up for today, you need more logs for crafting and the fireplace. Visit the post box outside to order more supplies. Yes. Um, make one small bench. So we should probably try and make the bench. No, probably need more planks because everything needs planks in this place. Mm, I need 20. I need five more nails. Um, I need to fuel this. Uh, there's plenty. But we also need to go mine a bit more. I hear the bank post is this game set in Scotland. Maybe it is. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Da, da, 
It's close. Here we go. We collect that. We collect that. We collect this. And uh, this is, by the way, how we buy certain uh, upgrades and stuff. And there we have a small bench. Now we just need to wait for that. But I think. I think there was more coal somewhere here about maybe yes there was more coal I'm a big fan of Scottish culture I love to watch the bagpipe parade yeah the bagpipes are really really awesome can I get what now on the way back get some milk um i don't think i can buy milk well not here at the very least i'm very very sure that i can buy milk but i don't think i can buy it from here bum, 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 bum. Ooh, iron is good to have let's grab that going to the store who wants something <laughs> oh I see um, here we can order items from your tavern simply select an item to add it to your basket and or shift click to add five after ordering the items will appear in the delivery box outside your tavern in three hours except if it's night time apparently do I need to buy something or do, do, do? Nah, it's just look at stuff. Looking at stuff. I need a blacksmith today, but we need a lot of this stuff. Um, I have learned from my mistakes, though. We're not buying a shovel or a hoe, because we're gonna get one. So, yeah. Just uh, FYI, you don't need to buy a lot of this stuff. So, bucket has been refilled. Now we just grab the bench. Thank you. New quest. Mm. Buy a wall calendar. I need to buy a wall calendar, but this is pretty expensive. I'm gonna fin focus on that one. And also we have a small bench. Which is uh, fitting next to the small table. And also we need a uh, candle. And we have the paper coasters by the way. I Something I learned is that you can place them under the candle. And it kind of looks... And it looks kind of good. Um, um. No, I don't want it. But... That is uh, slightly off to the side. There we go. <laughs> okay, open. We also have a candelabra, and I'm not gonna use that for the time right now. We have 22, it's fine. How much? We have 13 left, so not a whole lot. But at least something. People are hungry! <gasps> Our customer is being rowdy! Hello 3D, welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Game didn't want you to enter your own inn at midnight. 
Well, it, it was fine with me entering the inn. It was not fine with me opening the inn at midnight. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, a customer is being rowdy, they are marked with <clears throat> face. Press E next to them to try and calm them down. A rowdy customer will upset nearby customers. Yes. So we need to deal with this. Calm down. Okay, okay, I'll calm down. Okay, fine. <sighs> I thought I was gonna have to chase him out. I love chasing people out of the inn. <laughs> it is probably something that you shouldn't boast with, about. So, you know. But yeah, no roadiness is allowed. The world does need more places like this. I know we are awesome. Or, or, did I order stuff? No, I didn't order stuff. What on earth do you mean with order? Mm hmm. Hello Trevor, welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Nice. We don't have any music now for some reason. I just thought of running with some bad nasty business that. Yes. Can you buy more stuff? I need like two more silver monies for this place. So like one uh, one silver money and seventy six copper money. <laughs> Please. Nice to get into the woman, eh? Yes, it is. Ooh, okay, so now people are leaving. That's good. That means that we can get. Uh, okay, so new reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. Brewing and cooking tech trees. Awesome. Um. Hello? Uh. <laughs> Aggressive capitalism. Yes! Tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points, which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. Mm. That explains why I have so many red skill points all of the time. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so now we can brew ale. We can cook that. We need to... Tea is important, so that is something that we need. And we can't do farming until reputation 2, apparently. But yeah, basically we can't buy stuff. But this is where we buy new recipes. Oh, mental skill points. Yes. Yes. I oh, know the customer has become a nuisance. They will annoy everyone around them. Hit them with your mop to kick them out of the town. Yes. Can I please kindly move now? Okay, now I can move. I can speak with you. <laughs> I just whack it. Whack you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys understand why I love this babe so much? I can whack people with my broom. It's apparently a mop, but you know. Same, same, but different. Bam, bam. Okay, so now people are away, we can clean this mess. I kind of know that we can unlock the crafting room right now, but at the same time, I kind of want to wait a teensy tiny bit. Just to make sure that we uh, can buy the wall calendar, because I remember that one being quite expensive. And we're out of the expensive food, so that's gonna take a while. Which also probably means that we shouldn't wait. Wool. That's not how you spell wool. 80. 
Yeah, exactly. No lewd pics. Not, not, nothing lewd about this area. Can we? I... No, please. Um, so let's just... Last orders, please. We're gonna close for lunch. Might open up a bit later on. Fifteen water, yeah, fifteen water is fine. Are you guys you guys are leaving, but are you gonna not leaving your trash behind you? I see. That is good. Very good. Now we unlock that. Yeah. Why is doggy barking? I don't quite know. She's not close by, so don't know. I only have Kitty, which is very happy and very sleepy. <laughs> uh, but we got barley and we got bucket with water. This is my crafting room. Let's make some porridge. Yes. Do I have any? Okay. Thank you. Yes, porridge. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory into one of the slots. This will create barley porridge. Yeah, and by drag, they apparently mean click. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I can make starchy porridge with barley. It will only take a few seconds, yes. Uh, hello Henry, welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Uh, and you can just call me Dina. The name is just the title, so Dina is fine. Uh, but how am I doing? I am doing very good, especially now that I'm streaming, because streaming is fun, hanging out with you guys is fun, and this game is also pretty fun. If you want to accidentally lose completely track of your time, the I recommend this game, especially right now because it's on sale. <laughs> can you get some forage? Yeah, you can get some forage. At least if you give me silver coins for it. Now let's brew some beer. I mean adult barley juice. Press the malting, place the malting machine from your inventory and start crafting malted barley. Remember to enter decoration book. Yes, yes, yes. This, this I'm gonna move. And now we go over here. And we need fuel because obviously we need fuel for everything and anything. Molten takes a while. I can reopen my tavern and serve porridge while I wait. Awesome. I should have checked how many hours this took. Cancel. I can't even check on it. It's just gonna take a while. <laughs> have fun. Yee. I'm going to draw the things you want to draw. You do that. Eh? Drawing is awesome. Drawing is very awesome. Hope you have fun and good luck with the drawing. I almost forgot to add the food. I also almost forgot that I need to right click. Left click. 20 times. So people of the adventuring kind please step inside thank you ma'am you want a glass of water i can give you a glass of water i can give you a glass of water as well i have the best water in fact it is crystal clear and blue and chilled and delicious It looks like someone dropped a skeleton on my floor, so I, I think I'd better, better go 
clean that up. Me, kindly good sirs, if you wish to drop a skeleton somewhere, can you please drop it outside? Preferably not in front of the inn either. Preferably in front of another inn. Thank you. <laughs> it's GMO, but oh, it's cool. It's cool. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. So it's it's fine. It's fine. Perfectly fine. What is this game about? What is the story? I don't think it has a story. <laughs> but it's basically about us owning an inn. And, you know, right now we only have water and porridge because we're not that good at our job. But we're gonna be able to brew and cook a lot of things. So like cider, stout, biscuit ale, whatever biscuit ale is. Rye stuff, wheat stuff, wine, you know... Here's a lot of things that a lot of people are very interested in. <laughs> uh, and we can also cook a whole lot of different things. We can, you know, hamburger, because hamburger is a sandwich. And cheese. And shish kebab. And ribs. Ribs are tasty. And lasagna. Spaghetti sausages. Soup. Stew, bread, tea, and we can also do the farmy farmy business. And we can do the buildy buildy business as well. And there is pr apparently going to be magic in this game, which is pretty cool. And also social, which magic is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's an early access. Burger and cheese, yes! A lot of chase. And you also want water. Why does every I mean we do have delicious water? Is the the malt done? Malt is not done. And we need the food. I should probably cook some more food. Ooh, magic! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get it? It's a sort of beat beta Starbucks. Yeah, I guess. Um. Except you know, alcoholic, and you can also make rooms and rent out rooms to people. And you can farm, so it's basically Stardew Valley, but with no mon monsters. There is a mine. I don't know if we can get into it. <laughs> um, I don't know if we ever get a sword, but who on earth would need a sword when we have a mop? You know, this is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Welcome back. Did you get anything good from the store? My tavern has become cold. Use the fireplace at your tavern to the perfect temperature. Yes. Okay, sometimes I get stuck for some reason. <laughs> Well, the game is in early access, so, you know, it's understandable, but still, still so slightly odd sometimes. Um. Let's just all of the forestry waste and we just light it, it's fine. Um. There we go. Now the barley should be good. Barley is good. There we go. Create wort by boiling grains. Make Place the mash tun and create some mild wort. 
Check back later when it's finished. Yes, I will. Large items. Oh, so I need to close first. Fine. Fine. They are annoying me, Kitty. Yes. Oh, you want to let your phone charge? Ah, I see. I see. I need to clean. People are filthy. Very filthy. Why did they leave their little bowls, by the way? I can't clean away those bowls either, so they're just gonna have to stick there for eternity. Not quite, but. Uh, we need to fuel this thing as well because of course we need to fuel everything and there we go and we also need more porridge probably and we also need more malted barley because of course we need okay, we can open up again people <laughs> I was going through your channel, I saw you played Hogwarts Legacy. Oh really? I haven't seen that gameplay of that game, but you always wanted to see one playing. Yeah, I have a, a, quite a few of them. I don't have the entire game streamed. But I have at least a bit of it streamed. Kind of a big bit. Big bit. Big bit of it. Uh, so you're more than welcome to have a look on it. Especially because um, we're kind of hoping to get up to, you know, the 4,000 watch hours that uh, YouTube demands. <laughs> and we're like 140 away or something right now, so yes. We are getting close. I kind of like the music. Yeah, we have some parts of it streamed. Yes, we do. I found the, found the game very fun, though. It, it has its issues, especially graphics-wise. <laughs> uh, but it was a fun game. It was a really fun game. I don't really remember why I didn't, why I kind of stopped streaming it though. I think it kind of attracted a lot of trolls. I like you always get your trolls when you're streaming, but that game attracted a ton of them. Oh, we have number four. I think I have some food and they're ready over here. So I can just pop in and grab it. So I have new porridge. You don't need to order the gruel. I have better food. Next one. But you can have your gruel if you want to. It's fine. Now we need water. Because I have the best water. And now we get rich so basically we need 10 more coins and then we can get the wall calendar which we apparently really really need for some reason I might not have played this game a long time but I have no idea why the wall calendar is important are we gonna have any horror game stream Probably not on YouTube. We might have some horror games on Discord instead. What am I planning on streaming next? Let me guess Pokemon again. Yes! Because there is a schedule. 
Um, the only horror game I'm gonna, like, do on stream on YouTube is Luigi's Mansion. It has ghosts. And you know, Minecraft, Minecraft is a horror game, like, creeper jump scares. But, um, not much more than that. I do have horror games. I do own one. <laughs> um, but I am not really gonna stream it. Any points for you? Yes! Also, there is a schedule, so no. <laughs> Possibly Phasmophobia with Ophi. I don't think Ophi wants to play Phasmophobia. I own the game though, so that's like the second one that I own, I guess. Yeah, I know I can do farming. Farmy, farmy business. And this is how we do tea, so we need to get another... Mine? I don't know what the green one is. Um, but I think th that is important. So we need to do that. We also probably should do apples and pears later on. We also need to do, you know, actually have the tea so that we can do the thing. But when I did that the first time, I didn't know that you actually needed to grab the tea plant. <laughs> Um, so I basically had to wait after I bought this one so that I could actually get tea. <laughs> Do not recommend that. Um, let's put out the fire so we can sort of save up on some fuel. It's fine. Now for the last stage, fermentation! Place the fermentation tank and create some mild ale. You can add modifiers such as fruit and hops and give your beer a custom name. I can give it a custom name. You can order more supplies using the post box outside. Okay, cool. <gasps> I can buy it! <laughs> <laughs> um, Minecraft is our game. It really is. Creepers are very scary. Especially when they just pop in from the sky. I kind of prefer it that way. Maybe we'll just do that. That way we can move in between them. Um. <gasps> I can't actually. I don't think I can do space. <laughs> I don't know what that... Yeah, that didn't go through, but... Okay. <laughs> Let's go last and best. Yes! Yes. I don't have enough water, apparently, so I should probably go sleepy sleep. Sleepy sleep. Sleep sleep. Yeah, sure, let's do a new save, because that's kind of what the game wants us to do. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. There we go. Now we have our first beer. I have brewed, we have brewed our first beer. Press T to view your tech trees and learn new recipes. Experiment with new ingredients to create your perfect brews and food. Yes. Your beer is almost ready to serve. 
alcoholic beverages need to be aged before they can be sold. To do this, go to the Traven's cellar. Okay, so then we need to go down here and we go into the cellar. To age the drinks, just add them to your aging barrels and let time pass. As time passes, the drink will level up and increase in price up to the maximum level of Grand Reserve. Approach the aging keg and press bleh to place the beers inside. Drinks can be aged for several days, but they only need one day before they can be served. Wait until the beer is ready by working at the tavern or sleeping so time passes faster. Yes. There we go. So now that it's aging in there. And I think we should try and have two beers going at the same time. Mainly so that we can have one of better quality. Ooh! Kitty cat! I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's get it aged, yes! And I also can buy like racks so that I can stack the barrels on top of one another, which is kind of cool. That is something we need to do. ASAP. But which kitty cat do we want? Red, black, Siamese. I think that's a Russian blue or something. <laughs> Calico. Fluffy white. I'm gonna leave that up to chat. How many people are we in chat? We are 12 people. It's good enough to vote. So cat, we have orange, we have black, and then it's the Siamese, and pudgy blue. I can't add more! What is this? Why can I only have four alternatives when I have six kits? Then I'm gonna have to choose my favorites. Okay, black is a favorite. I don't think orange, only because orange kind of clashes against my clothes. Orange, puddy. The calico is definitely um, fluffy white. I think those are my favorites. So yeah, you guys decide. <laughs> Chungus, yes. Like the diabetes cat. Is the diabetes cat this one, this one, or this one? Because <laughs> all three of them are on the pudgy side. I think the Russian blue is kind of cute. Kind of adorable. Did I not start? I don't think I started the vote. That's derpy. Um, the black, pudgy blue, and then we have the calico, pudgy calico. And we have the fluffy white. I know it did! Up here, okay, fine, never mind. Too much meme potential with the blue kitty, yes. <laughs> yeah, I find him pretty cute. And this white fluffy one was the one that I went with on my last series. I would rather not have that. It's cute. But, you know.
Бля, 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 Because I thought I kind of started one, but it didn't appear for me. So I kind of thought that something got wrong. Um, so yeah, and, and it appears that it, it didn't go wrong. It was just... YouTube took a while to load something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. My kit is blue and white, by the way, so it's kind of reminding you of her. She's not pudgy, though. She's uh, slim. Mm. If you ask me, if you ask my dad, she's fat. So, you know. <laughs> um, how are we? Yeah, I think pudgy blue is winning. Anyway, I finish voting there. And we have Pudgy Blue. I, we can rename. Do we want to name the cat? I think we need to name the cat. What on earth should we name the cat? <laughs> uh, fluffy white ones are so easy to get dirty. That is very true. That is very true. And I like the glare potential of this little pudgy blue cat. So I think we did a good choice. We can call it the Talking Tom Big Chunkers or Dumb Cat from Tom and Jerry. Hmm. Could do that. I think it's not the Big Chungus. Um, my brain is not feeling a lot of stuff today. My brain is weird. <laughs> and much more. Yeah, we do. Yes. There's a big potential of names. We could go with Sir Meows a lot. New poll. <laughs> Do we need a new poll for the name? Do we really need that? Ginya, oh, that is <laughs> that is a that is an interesting yes. Hmm. Okay, fine. We can do another poll. Uh, well, you don't mind Phasma stream. You're listening but playing League. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm not sure if I mind it or not. <laughs> Uh, but okay, so that is a uh, possibility then. Not really sure if I'm gonna stream that. Maybe only if he streams it. We, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Genia. Um. Are you back for the story? Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to the story. I kind of mixed up you guys. <laughs> but did you get anything good then? Alright, Tom. No, let's go with that. Let's join you. Yes. I need to clean the table. I just need to realize that was very dirty table. 
and can the poll pop up or what is going on because I clicked the poorly poorly button YouTube is apparently slightly weird today Hello. Do we want not want to cooperate today? Why do we not want to cooperate today? Now we wanted to cooperate. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Liking the smells a lot, Nikki. <laughs> Anything related to the Knights of the Round Table is an instant yes for me. <laughs> yes. yes. It's a good one. Yes. It's also our cat's name in Minecraft and I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, dear. And I also like the name Genia. Because it's kind of cute. Now we have a third on each, so okay. <laughs> that makes the decision that much easier, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, so Lot is in the lead now with uh, one vote. <laughs> okay, uh, no, I was about to say two votes, but no, what? Uh, no, it's two votes again. Yes. <laughs> uh, how long do we want this? thing to go through. I think three minutes should be fine. So you guys have about one minute left to vote. Because I don't want to be stuck on this screen for too long. And there we go. With the three minute mark. Yes. So meow, so lot it is. <laughs> there we go. Meows a lot. He looks like a meows a lot. Hello, meows a lot. A cat just wandered into your tavern. I guess it lives here now. You can buy a bed and a water bowl to keep it happy. Yes. <laughs> but I also apparently need to buy a calendar. So, you know, we should probably buy a calendar for some reason. So I've never had to use one. And I normally use wallet calendars in these kinds of games. We are on earth. <gasps> I can buy a cactus. What does the cactus do? Cactus, cacti are not comfortable. Just uh, popping that out there. C cacti are not comfortable. Wall calendar. I also need cat stuff that's pretty expensive. We need 45 for that. Oh, I got a stone workshop. That's the thing that I wanted to place down here. Has stuff grown? No, stuff has not grown. Stuff has grown. Fine. So we press the B button. And now we place it. There we go. 
Um, not that I've really found a use for this one. I mean, this adds comfort. So I've had one. Don't really know what it does. Other than comfort. So you know. <laughs> uh, Kator is another pun for them. I can't think of any more puns at the current time. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, Katoria was uh, is a good one. Interesting monster. Yes. Don't really know which monster you mean if you mean the cat. It's a cute one. And yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, I got the Nyan cat on the, my brain, so thank you for that. <laughs> hey, hello, board. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. I did that song need to get stuck on my brain. That thing is never gonna leave my brain. I am gonna be in complete misery for the rest of my life now. So I chose a genia. No, chat chose uh, meows a lot. So yeah. With like two or three votes or something like that. I don't really remember. Either two votes or three votes. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, I have uh, I have tried to escape this place. I am uh, sadly unable to escape this place. So yeah, <laughs> the world is bigger though. As I said, there is a mine. Um. I don't know if you can get into said mine. We can have a look on how it looks, by the way, because it's pretty early in the day. We can open the tavern a bit later. We're only waiting for the beer anyway, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, up here, we have some miners. We have three miners being very upset. Clive may be right, but what he's asking of us is too much. Clive acts like none of this is his fault. An accident, he says. No way. Wish everything could go back to the way it was. I don't want to blow up Pharaoh either, but we can't just sit idly by. Yes, so, so something, something bad happened. And if we go up here... Past, past the coal. And I think this is where we turn left. I don't quite remember. Where was this way? Here we have the mine. Yeah, you know, it look, looks pretty, pretty cool. We have our little coals. We have our little wagon. And we have a frozen dude. Um. So... And also splashy splashy sounds when I walk in the water puddle. But basically, I, I don't know if I can get in here or not. I can't right now. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. Uh, my guess is that we're gonna get into the mines. I don't know if that's gonna be in a future update or if it's later in the story. If there is a story. I, I don't quite know. Like, there's a lot of different places that I can sort of see that there's something here. But I'm not really sure if it's something that's going to be added or if it's something that is actually something. A fruit? Mango. Mango is good. Mango is very tasty. Uh, same thing here with the guard, by the way. Because this guard, and we do just, uh, yeah, he just uh, puts his hand up and do the little shaky shake. I'm not allowed to be there. Apparently, a lowly innkeeper is not allowed in his fancy little castle or something. I don't quite know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but I can't get there. I can't get there. I have a kitty cat that's just uh, walking around my legs, which is very cute. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, I forgot. Okay, fine. <laughs> I thought I wasn't back home yet. <laughs> oh, he's just chilling by the mice. He's very much chilling by the mice. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I just noticed that I do not remember where this game com comes from. Oh, I need more stone. I forgot about that. Uh, because Paleo Pines, I think that's the game that I kind of checked out where it's from. And that game is from Ireland. Which is pretty cool because... Uh, it's kind of cool... If it feels kind of cool when I find games that are from Europe because there's so many games from Asia and North America. But finding the gems from Europe is pretty cool. Oh, we should probably make some firewood. We should also probably make a firewood stockpile. Because that gives us extra firewood in the working area, which is pretty cool. We also need a coal stockpile. Okay, so we need 30 firewood to do that one. Uh, let's do two there. How many am I actually crafting here? Crafting five. We need five more. Uh, we're out of fuel already. We're out of fuel. Um, then now bring me the iron. How many of these? I have ten of these. So that's comforting, apparently. Nails are kind of useful, though. Do I have anything that I can craft over here? I can make wooden jugs. Don't know what those are useful for. I can make them. Aging shelf is also something that I have absolutely no idea what I, what it's useful for. I can cure some products. Apparently. <laughs> uh, indeed, for example, from Finland, Supercell HQ, yes, and uh, Sweden, <coughs> Minecraft. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, so now we got the firewood. Now we can make the firewood stockpile. And I need more coals for the coal thingamabob. I kind of want the coal thingamabob because this little thing, these two things, they use a lot of coal. Like, a lot. And if I place that little box of coal in that area over there, they don't use as much fuel. So, like, fuel cost in working areas, negative one. What's kind of bothering me, though, because the kitchen uses a lot of coal as well, I can, for some reason, not place this in the kitchen. I would love to place this in the kitchen. Uh, we probably need a blacksmith table. I don't really know what, that, what we use that for, but I'm pretty sure that we need it. Maybe that's where we craft the storage systems for stuff. I need even more stone for that. Are you done soon? Not that soon. 
Here's a little wool calendar, by the way. Um, so let's place the wool calendar somewhere. Like there's fine. Let's open up shop because we can. And we need money for the kitty stuff. You should also cook. <gasps> but we cannot waste. We do the mango because that makes our food more expensive because we have mango porridge. And who wouldn't want to have mango porridge? Sounds like an amazing deal to me. I need more water. I forgot about the water. We need to go out and get some water. A charcoal coal production place. I think it exists something like that. But I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and also like the coal bits and pieces respawn every night. So we're not gonna be that starving for coal. Um, but yeah, it's slightly annoying to have to go and dig through it. To it. What's my favorite fruit? Uh, mango is definitely up there. Mango is my favorite tropical fruit. But I also really, really like plums, cherries. Um, Sometimes, not apricots, but the ne nectarines, whatever they are called in English. I have no idea. You guys are filthy. I leave this place for one minute. And you guys behave like I, I don't know what. Because pigs are pretty clean creatures. There we go. Let's pour a drink. Nope, we don't want the money back. This is my money. You want to speak to the barkeep? You can speak to my broom. You get out of here. Pretty fun to just thrash people with the broom. <laughs> what a lovely journey it has been. It has been a lovely journey. I do agree on that with that bit. But I also do need to clean. Because once again, you guys are behaving like orcs. Probably. I don't know any orcs. Like teenagers. Teenagers are pretty messy. I'm allowed to say that because I have been one. And I also teach a few. <laughs> oh, we are similar, no doubt. I met love mangoes and cherries. Yeah, those are awesome. They are really awesome. And like even the sour cherries. I, it doesn't always need to be the overly sweet ones. Those are really, really tasty as well. But the wild ones, they are pretty tasty as well. Kind of can't eat too much, many of them because stomach is... Uh, they are not kind to your stomach. <laughs> uh, like they are very, very acidic. So, you know, don't eat too many. <laughs> also watermelons and lemons, yes. But only very firm watermelons. I do not like them when they are mushy. Why does everyone want water all of a sudden? I know that the only drink that I actually have at the moment is water. But still, and can't you guys come up to the bar to order your water? This is, by the way, something that I've noticed, like, if I just wipe the tables off before they turn dirty, then people are not gonna be as upset. They're still gonna be upset, but not 
quite as much. I said, no, you guys want more food, I see. I think I have more food ready, though. So, I... Okay, apparently I already grabbed it. Fair enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 no. Hey, calm down. Yeah, exactly, pipe down. Me too, I like it crunchy, don't know the exact English word, yes. I think that's kind of what most people do. I uh, This turn is cold, I need to light the fire. We also need to pop that in. I mean, look at the price differences. Whole uh, half silver. Because <laughs> I've basically learned that... A hundred copper is one silver, a hundred silver is one gold. You know. Rest up now, got a long way to go still. Yeah, you should probably start moving because it's half nine in the evening. And I do not have any rooms. Yeah, we have one man that that really appreciate the good in life. Like mango porridge. Yeah, she was a poor girl. She only grabbed the normal one. <laughs> um, I also do love to make it alcohol-free fruit drinks in summer. Yes. Agreed. Uh, I missed you. Sorry. Hello, meows a lot. I pit. Uh, this table is getting worse. I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of forgot about that bit. Is it getting to the wall, man? Yes, it is. Can you believe the service in here? Yes, I can believe the service. Yeah, exactly. You pipe down now. Otherwise, I'm uh, waterboarding you. I have a lot of water. I'm probably able to do that. I doubt I'm able to do that. Oh, we're out of water. That's fine, though. Um, I'm starting to think that we should probably... Start to try and turn, not turn people away, but start to close. Yeah, let's just close up. Grab a couple of water. And then we have a mango. I kind of like the whole tray bit. I mean, I might be complaining a bit about it. But it's also pretty cool. <laughs> Filthy little creatures. Um, so now we can buy the cat stuff. So let's buy the cat stuff. We can buy the cat pit. We can buy the cat bowl. And we still have a few monies to spare. Uh huh? I, di I didn't buy... I bought stuff. Okay, fine. At least my money disappeared, so I hope that I get the stuff. As uh, so yeah, firewood stockpile. Uh, not I. We need B for building. 
we can place that there that's fine so basically now when we go here and we craft this we get six instead of five and that's basically everything that it does but you know extra stuff extra stuff is good <laughs> You know the milkshake straws that have flavor beads in the straw? I do not know about that. That sounds pretty weird to me. I might have heard about it, but... Nope. Those definitely aren't a thing where I live. No more choppy choppy. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, blip, blip. Collect that. Do I have enough? I have enough planks for that one. I do know. Th I am gonna need another keg. Sooner or later, I'm gonna need another keg. I am gonna need new aging barrels. I'm probably gonna need a blacksmith table because I'm not sure if I get one of those for free or not. <laughs> so new planks, new wooden poles are probably good to do. Uh, and in here we do need some iron sheets. Let's just craft a bunch of those, it's fine. I didn't have you, but I thought. Um, sure, let's grab a couple of candle holders. Don't really know what the comfort thingamabob does, but it's probably good to have. Um, when you drink through the store, you taste the flavor in the milk. Ah, I see. Well, I know about those kinds of stores. Yeah. The normal kind. <laughs> okay, collect that. Open. Let's grab that. I don't think I needed to add the hops, but hops had been have been added. We should probably do that as well. Um, I kind of wanted to start another barrel today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to whoop, be able to do that uh, so that's probably gonna have to wait until tomorrow instead can I I can probably buy some stuff um, I cannot do the tea though so I might wait for the tea I mean, apples and pears and fruit bits is kind of good to have. Because adding fruit to... All, like, I can add fruit to a lot of things. And if we want to do the vine bit... We kind of need the fruit. We also apparently need mead first. Uh, I think I'm gonna save up on the points right now, though. And also, by the way, what we are going to do is going to take this and we're going to plop that in there. <laughs> because if we place containers inside of work areas, we can basically just unload food-related bits and pieces in here and we don't need to carry them with us. And I mean, buckets are good to have with us because 
we use them for a lot of different things and not just food. But later on when we have a lot of food, which I typically do, because I'm a hoarder and I like farming. Um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of easy because my inventory is gonna get full really quick. Let's go with the new save then, it's fine. Hello, Serbio, so can you please sit still so that I can pet you, I can pet you. Yes, meow meow. And there we have another one, and we added that there. That there. So we just have a bunch of things on the go. Bears have been the thing in the bulb. It's time to farm. The first thing you will have to do is to clear the grass <coughs> of an area of land with the shovel. To do this, the uh, shovel shovel business is not that difficult. Now we grab those and we add those in. So these are just. It's. Like. Fine. Basically. I can, if I wanted to, I could have them in the barrels for longer, and the price would go up. But having a lot of different things is something that customers kind of like. So yeah. Therefore, we're kind of not doing that. But yeah, apparently we need to go... Clear out a bit of land, and I thought that we might do normal crops over here, as in vegetables, greens, that sort of thing. And the fruit trees. I have cut a thousand weeds. I was thinking that we could do the fruit trees here, and then just other farmy farmy business up here. Now we got the hoe, which is amazing. No, we needed to till that. I just needed, I want this part to be tilled as well. The controls are slightly wonky at times. <laughs> There we go. Crops are growing. Yes. It's, it's not rocket science, it's just crops. And that is something that we want to plant as well. Do we want to plant? We can plant the, the trees as well. It's fine. There we go. Oh no, you pulled a revenge prank on a teacher that was a jerk once. <laughs> oh, uh, otherwise, have I have there been any students who pulled an April Fool's joke on you and how funny were they? They have tried, not really succeeded. Generally, they don't try that much. Something that's a bit interesting about the farming of this game, by the way, is that. Um, I um there is no need to do the whole water can business. It's automatically watered. I don't need to water it. Uh which is not something that you normally see 
in games like these. They tend to force you to water no matter what. And I think I rather like this because it's more, like farming is not the main thing here. The whole cooking and other things is more main thing than anything else. Uh, I think we need to collect that kind of pronto. Uh, Koli Kool. Koli Kool is here. This game is on your Steam wishlist. Maybe I'll get it, but you played too much Stardew Valley, so might need a break. I can understand that. Um, I will say that for me, because I have played a lot of Stardew Valley as well. Like, on Steam, Stardew Valley is my top game. That's the thing that I have played the most. I was about to say, can I go to the left? <laughs> uh, apparently I can't. Um, I will say that, it, to me, it kind of scratches the same itch, itch as Stardew Valley when it comes to aesthetics. But it's also pretty different. It, ha it has a lot of similarities. It does. Not only style-wise, like the whole farm craft bit. What I find though is that Stardew Valley emphasizes more on the farming bit, while this game emphasizes more on the crafting bit. So there is a difference in that way. And also Stardew Valley is more fleshed out than this game is. Because this is early access, it's not the complete game. Which, you know, you can have your opinions on that as well. I know a lot of people who just says that I don't buy early access because they've been through a lot of bad experiences with early access. Uh, which is very fair. If that's your stand point, you go do that. It's perfectly fine. Um... I kind of like finding a game early access because sometimes you can fi kind of find a gem in the rough. Sometimes it's very bare bones. Like you can hope for something and you kind of later on realizes, realize that this is not gonna be that. Happened to me when it comes to a certain horse game that I was very hyped for only to realize that this is basically a pretty horse and nothing else. <laughs> um, let's see. Ya. There we go, we can craft that one. Now we just craft a bunch of planks because we need planks. Bunch of planks. Are there any close trees that I can cut down? These two are pretty close. Let's cut down the first one. Because I'm not sure, but some people are talking about trees replanting themselves. Because I am... Uh, it's pretty easy to run out of trees in this game, <laughs> which is slightly worrying. Like, I'm not getting a one for one, when I chop down one, it's not... I'm not getting another seed. Um, do you know? Slightly boring. Which is also why I really, really want this little sauce mill up and why I also focus on the coal and not the trees because Coal replenishes is every day. Trees do not replenish every day. So yeah. There is a method to my madness. Have I leveled up by the way? I have not because I need tavern reputation three. Mm. 
I have zero staff cost. Yes, I do not have any staff. Do I need to do something? I don't know. I need to do something. Yeah, you want to early access? Yeah, there, there's a lot of people who feel that way, and it's perfectly fine. Bugs and glitches and stuff, but I mean, how do you say no to early access unless you don't like it? Well, a lot of reasons why you could say no to early access. Like, one of the reasons is that there is no guarantee that what you're actually going to get is a working game. You might be paying a lot of money for absolutely nothing. Which is not a fun experience. Um. I just open up with alcohol and all of a sudden I have a rowdy customer. Exactly, you pipe down. Um, because there are instances where a game is on early access and it's basically just nothing you you can do next to nothing you can do a character creation and it's that is the gameplay and there is no guarantee that you're actually going to get more than that um because that's kind of what happened to arise i think it's called uh which is a horse game where you basically could create a horse and ride it in very weird it moved pretty weirdly but you could basically do next to nothing, and what they promised was a lot more. Um, a stride, a stride is what it's called. And there is no guarantee, absolutely no guarantee that the game is gonna progress past that point. It might also be the case that it does. But there is no guarantee. So all I'm saying is that you might find a hidden gem, but you might also get scammed. I'm just gonna clean up. I'm gonna be with you with the, your fruit porridge pretty soon. Not fruit porridge, by the way. You just wanted the normal porridge. It's fine. I don't think I have any fruit porridge left. Because I have no fruit. But yes. This there's a great 2D story game uh, based game called To the Moon. It's on sale right now if you ever want to play a game like that. I might. I might. I also was about to sneeze, but somehow I yawned instead. Don't quite know how that worked out, but it did. So, you know. Uh, do we have the... Uh... I do not have another one. God, we will have soon, though. I don't have any other two other things to add, so yes, that's gonna have to be it. We need to be able to do some... Um... Her down. Yeah, that's what I thought. The only thing that's watered down here is the water. And I think that is the point. don't know where people got their plates from because I only have wooden bowls apparently but you know apparently I have the fruit why on earth are people ordering the normal one people are uncultured ordering normal things when they can have mango porridge people are stupid simply stupid Bum 
You have to remember to stock up on rations. Yeah, you do that. Wait, I should have my kitty ball. Shouldn't I have my kitty ball? I have my kitty ball. Okay, so cat obviously needs to sleep next to... I cannot place the things. Oh yeah, I need water for them. I knew that. And now we need another beer because of course we need another beer. Is there a stairway up, by the way? Is this... I can go up. I guess I can do a whole lot of things. <laughs> okay, so there is a stairway up. It's just... Not useful. At all. She looks pretty bored. He must be a boring man. It's way too cold in here. I'm sorry. Yes, this table is a mess. Pure mess. Ability unlocked going up the stairs. Yes! Okay, so I got a negative reputation from that man. Not really sure why. Maybe because I swiped his table. Who knows? Maybe it was because of the cold as well. Could be because it was cold. I mean, it should be fine now, though. But they were cold for a while, so they might be upset. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, the world does need more places like this. Thank you for noticing. close now <laughs> uh, oh the candles on the bar table just ran out that's fine like well, I'm getting more positive than negative though it was some a couple of negatives it's probably fine you're guessing how a great yard keeper vibes from this game? Well, I guess. I'd, I haven't played that one, but I can see that. I, I can see that connection. Okay, so. Uh, nope, didn't mean to open. No bucket of water. I need a bucket of water. You need to run out and get buckets of water. Okay, there we go. Mm, what have I crafted? I crafted something interesting. Wooden planks. <gasps> I can buy some stuff. Okay, so I can grow tea leaves. Now I can cook tea leaves. Progress has been made. Big question is if we want bread. Because we can grow grains. 
So I feel like adding bread soup is a pretty easy one as well. And roasting is also pretty easy because we can roast barley. <laughs> Not really sure if we can fish in this game or if I need to buy the fish. If we can fish, this is gonna be pretty easy as well. Um. Let's go with the bread. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Okay, so we can buy stuff. We do have a lot of money. Uh, let's go with rosemary because I like rosemary. And wheat, rye, barley, and... Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> um, dill, because Sweden loves dill. Let's buy that one. Let's mine a bit. That's probably fine to do. I think that we should probably focus on getting some more chests. Because I might not have played this game for very long. But I know myself and my hoarding tendencies. And having chests where I can just pop in all of the necessary things for things in the area. It's gonna help a lot. It, it, that apparently takes a long time. Uh, we need two of those. We do need more metal hinges. We don't have any iron bars. Which is easily fixed. Except we don't have any fuel. Wait. I forgot to place that one. Does this have different... It does have different style. I like that style. But yeah, basically now when we add fuel... It's, uh, well, maybe not when we add, but when we use the fuel, it's not going to use as much. No, it uses nine, maybe. Yeah, that was 15 before. So, it just uses less. Oh, uh, yeah, hello, Link's all by the way. I don't think I said hi to you, but hello and welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. <laughs> Can you craft that stone pretty soon, pretty please? Because I want the mortar. For reasons that is mostly unknown to me, but I want it. Um, chest is not something I do there. I need chests here. Uh, do I have one hinge on the way or two? I have four hinges. So now we just need nails. And we are waiting for it. That it's said to take 20 minutes. What on earth is the hold up? Uh, 
I think we have a buggy bug there. We're just gonna try and ignore it and go to bed and hopefully it works out in the morning. Yeah, you have water now. Do we have we have a done beverage? We don't have hops, so we can't make new beer. That is the thing that I was thinking about. Um, but not that weapon. Tea. We should probably grab the hops as soon as possible because then we don't need to buy the hops. We can just grow them ourselves, and that's gonna be cheaper. So that's gonna put down the costs. Probably. I don't know if these guys regrow or not. Because I do know that some plants regrow, like the apple trees. Um, not sure how that works with hops. Because they regrow in Stardew Valley, but I, I don't know about here. <laughs> oh yeah, we're sleepy, apparently. We're yawning. We should go to, go to bed. Sleepy, sleepy, yes. And uh, sleeping up. Speaking of sleepy sleep, I um, I kind of also need to go sleepy sleep because I am tired and I have not been sleeping that well for a long time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I kind of need to go sleep. I'm feeling kind of tired and kind of yeah. I need. I do need my rest. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like this game. I kind of really, really do. <laughs> um, but yeah. And apparently there is multiplayer in this game. I'm not sure if it's multiplayer as in online multiplayer or if it's multiplayer locally don't quite know about that but it's i, I like this game <laughs> why is that game where you bury people no we don't bury people here that's a that's graveyard keeper we only make booze and food and sell it to people <laughs> yes we might have a bit of a poisoning to send people the um, gravekeeper way, but uh, we, we, we don't personally bury them. No. <laughs> uh, but hello, he will, play, he will sway. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. But yeah. I am tired and I should rest. And uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's no, it's no, no worries. No worries. It's it looks kind of similar, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I should be off. I need to rest because something is weird. I've probably been overexerting my vocal cords mainly because I had a very weird thing happening to me when I was talking. Uh, like a muscle in my neck throat kind of just twitched and. It felt uncomfortable, like it w it felt so weird and so off and so uncomfortable that like I just I just wanted to stop speaking for the entire day, which is pretty pretty difficult to do when you work with speaking to people. Um, so yeah, I definitely need a good night's sleep. <laughs> it's already been nearly two and a half hours. Didn't even realize that today was really calm. <laughs> Is that it's kind of awesome though if you don't even realize the time passes because that's kind of what this game does to you. <laughs> you guys understand why I have been just accidentally been playing it for like five hours? <laughs> it's it's um, pretty easy to get hooked and you just want to do one more thing and then you just want to do this thing and then all of a sudden one hour has passed. 
Uh, random also switch at random times for me as well. Well, that, that's good. And it's just not me. I'm not having a heart in or a stroke or something. Good to know. <laughs> The muscles do be quirky. Yeah, this Sunday, I did a really, really big stretch before getting out of bed. And what did my cough decide to do? It decided to have a cramp. Because I stretched. <laughs> like, what on earth? <laughs> uh, you should check out with the doctor if it's bad. Or no, I don't think. I don't think it's bad. It just felt really, really uncomfortable. Um, and it's probably because... Slight lack of sleep, because I haven't been sleeping enough. Uh, and also stress. Mainly stress. Stress makes me not sleep. You know. Bad cycle. And then I stress because body is feeling weird. So then I don't sleep. And then my body feels weird. And then I stress. <laughs> You know, like, well, it hurts when that happens. It really does. It really does. My, uh, my cough, not my cough, but my calf. Uh, so, you know, you know, below your knee, the ginormous muscle that's below your knee, that muscle just, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, cough, cough. It's just my dialect or accent being weird, I guess. For the ones. Yes, the bones. And that muscle is also weird. But it did do a crampy, crampy business, so, you know. And cramp comes from not drinking enough, so yeah, I'm definitely dehydrated as well. <laughs> uh. I should drink more water, but that is difficult to do when tea is so tasty. Oh, well, I'm less dehydrated now. I just did the pinch test and his skin is actually moving down again. So, it, yeah, I'm not as dehydrated. <laughs> so now good to know, good to know, things are improving. Uh, but yes, I do need to go. I do hope you guys had fun. If you want me to stream this game again, just tell me because I love this game. I'm going to play it. So the big question is if you guys want to see me play it or if I'm just going to play it on my own. <laughs> um, you can also check if you're dehydrated by pinching your hand. Yeah, I basically just pinched my my hand, my finger skin. That's where I pinched. I love tea. I do too. I do too. Tea is amazing. But water is more healthy, apparently. So you should drink water, even though it's kind of boring. So. Decisions. Not easy. <laughs> blasphemy, guys. I know. The blasphemy. But I do hope... Uh, but so if you guys want me to play it, this game again, please tell me either in Discord or comments or chatty chat. But chatty chat is gonna close down soon, soon. But please tell me if you guys want to play, want me to play this again. I am gonna play it. But if you guys want to see me play it, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming. I do hope that you had fun because I definitely did. Uh. Have a, a lovely rest of the day, night, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you guys. Do take care of yourself and of one another. And the next day, bye bye. And because you deserve it. You know? Yes. <laughs>